Oh my God. I just got off the phone with the DPW and, and the lady on the phone said she'll tell her supervisor. Look at that. Okay, look at these big waves. Oh my God, it's collapsing right now. And the highway's up there. Look at that. You got big trucks going over there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. The culvert pipe is collapsing. The, it's collapsing. I can't believe it. I, I better, I gotta call back right now. This is a bigger emergency than I thought. The water was just clearing up. And I can hear it in there going, boom, boom, boom. Whoa, look at that. Right in front of our eyes. This whole thing became a mud pool, suds. Holy, whoa, look at that. You see how the current keeps going faster, slowing down? That's because things are falling. And, well, we do have like 100 feet before we get to the highway, so that'll take a long time, but this is probably going on for years. And I've reported it time after time. Nobody's doing anything about it. So today I kept the person on the phone for like a half hour and I kept repeating myself over and over. I want this fixed. Look at this. Water should not be going in the other side crystal clear and coming out like this. You hear that up there? There are giant heavy tractor trailers going on up there. That's a lot of weight and rumbling in this hill. And it's causing this thing. Like, you hear that noise? Let me get closer to this. Do you hear that? That's not the sound of the waterfall, that crashing noise. It's going in the other side nice and steady. Nice and steady, it's going in the other side. I accidentally covered the microphone. I'm going to call again. Like, you, you see that? You see how that these waves are coming out of there? That's not coming from the other side. You heard that? Do you hear that? Those crashing. Look at that. Look at the waves. Oh, wow. It's collapsing. I got to call now. Okay. I just called the police, the DOT, and the DPW because, yeah, that thing is collapsing. This is now become an emergency. That is now, look at that. Do you hear that? Do you hear all that noise? It's collapsing in there. This thing is collapsing. I don't want to be near this thing. In case there's some kind of disaster up there, I'm going to back off. I did what I could. I contacted everyone I could. I literally told them all this is an emergency, that they have to cr close that up there. That's an on-ramp with heavy trucks going over it. I understand that it's a small pipe. It's only four feet. But if it's been doing that for years, and you have a hill that's 100 feet high, who knows how big the sinkhole, you know there's a, uh, what do you call it? There's an area in the ground that is hollow, and something is gonna fall into it. This is an emergency now. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm walking now along the road. Under the bridge. The issue is inside this hill. I want to show you how it's going in the other side. So crystal clear. But it's coming out the other side. So murky. So that thing, I've said in other videos by accident that it's 300 yards. No, it's 300 feet long, this pipe. Okay, I'm right now to the other side. 
crystal, crystal clear. Why is it coming out? Because somewhere in the ground right here is collapsing and that entire highway is now in great danger. I'm waiting around. Why is nobody showing up? Okay, so I called the DPW. The DPW does not take care of this culvert at all. And I explained to them that I've been coming out here for years, unclogging this thing, because occasionally, one time when I was out here, it actually flooded the road. So that's why I maintain this, because this is not their responsibility. This is not DPW. So I talked to them, I showed them how it's going in clean, coming out the other side really dirty. And they said, yeah, that's definitely eroding because I showed them my video of it collapsing, splashing through the pipe. And they said they can't do a thing about that. They can file a report with the highway department. They gave me the number for the highway department and I called them. The person on the phone isn't even going to send somebody out for this, even though I told them how urgent it is. They're not going to do a thing about it unless it actually collapses is pretty much what they said. The guy wrote down some things and no matter how much I tried to stress to him that this could collapse at any time and cause a danger, they're not going to send anybody out. That's how the system works. At least the water is starting to go down a little bit, so the problem is slowly going away as far as more erosion. But if it's been doing this for years, who knows? what could be going on in this hill. I'm gonna go over to the other side once again because it's been two hours since I've last filmed because I, I spent like an hour talking to the guys from the DPW. They brought out one of their big jet trucks in case it was one of their own culverts. They were gonna do something about it, but it's not theirs, it's the highway department. I called the emergency number for the highway department. They're not taking it as an emergency. I called another office who, uh, is responsible for doing construction work. Nobody picked up the phone three times. It just rings and rings. And I left them a message with my phone number. I doubt they'll call me back. They never do when I've called them before. So I, I even called the police, but luckily I was still on the line with the dispatcher when DPW showed up, so I told them they didn't have to come. So. Well, I, I talked to them for about an hour and nothing can be done unless the, the highway department actually decides to do something. We're going to go take a look at the other side. Hopefully it's clearing up a little bit, but if it's still dirty, that means it must be moving hundreds, thousands of pounds of dirt to make that water filthy for that amount of time. I uh, have now called the state police because the Department of Transportation doesn't seem to be taking this seriously and I made another report with them so I've made five reports with different people so this is all I could possibly do if something happens here that's tragic I did everything I could to try to prevent it and I still don't feel it's enough you see here this was underwater a little while ago so that drain on the other side it emptied down the lake but it's still coming out kind of dirty. Why? Because it's eroding under the road still. It's eroding under the road still. Yeah, we don't need that thing there. Yeah, this has dropped quite a bit. Yep, you can see the edge where it was. Every now and then you hear a big crash of more and more debris falling from in the hill. Yeah, you see all the grounds all kind of packed down because like a whole bunch of people came out here when I showed them that. Look at all those suds. You can see how high the water was. Oh look at that, more waves. It just collapsed again. I think that's, that stuff is pretty cool. You see that foam 
That's interesting. I gotta make a separate video of river foam. So I, I, I was able to tell the city workers what I do because they were wondering why I had a rake with me. I told them I go out a lot and unclog drains. And a lot of people in my comments leave, you're taking work away from union workers. No, I'm not. They always go on the local news telling the public, try to keep your drains clear. But not many people do it. And plus, most of my jobs I do in areas where people don't live, like wooded areas, where nobody does it. I go out and do it. I like doing this stuff. It's fun. Sometimes I have a big whirlpool, which is awesome to play with, right? But other times I go out and I just do it on dry days without the flood to try to prevent that kind of stuff from happening. Look how fast the water's coming out of this thing now. This thing is moving along nicely. I'm gonna get my camera light. I wanna stick my phone in there and uh, I wanna see if anything's going on because I don't trust myself with the digital camera in case I drop it. I don't have a waterproof case for that. I have a waterproof case with a lanyard for my phone. But I've, I've made videos with my phone and digital camera. People can't even tell the difference. So. Well, they can with the microphone. The microphone on the phone is actually better. Okay, let me stick in there. Let's see. I'm not seeing anything. I'm just sticking my arm. Can't see a thing, and that little clip, the pipe looks perfect. All the rusty damage is like midway. And if you want to see the damage in that pipe, check out my video of the time when this thing wasn't flowing and I actually walked through that thing. The thing is so badly damaged, like that thing over there, you see how it has big holes through it? That's what the middle of this thing looks like. Unacceptable. Okay, here's another culvert here that's actually underneath the town road. I showed this to the DPW guys while they were here because this is one they're responsible for. You see all that rust? That's the same situation on the one that's currently in the process of collapsing. They told me they won't replace that for a very long time. They don't have the funds to do it. And that is really sad that we can't make money for that. Because the only way to do that is taxes would have to go up. And no one's going to do that. So over there until a big sinkhole happens in the highway, the DOT isn't going to do a thing. Somebody needs to change that. Another 30 minutes has passed, and now I actually have proof that it's actually collapsing. It collapsed. It collapsed. So, I'm never going to get to unclog this drain again, because when they replace it, they'll put a new system in with big bars. Look at that. That's water right there. It collapsed. So the, the pit filled up. The culvert is no longer accepting water. You, you see, it's getting deeper and deeper until the drain stops. This thing will never work again. It will never work again. It might erode and start moving again, but you know what? I hope it stops. You know why? Because it'll get those lazy Department of Transportation out here. Do you know why? Because when this thing stops flowing, this pond rises two feet. It's being supplied by another stream. So it'll take a, probably a day for this to happen. It's gonna come up a few feet and it's gonna flood the road. And they can't do anything about it. Even clearing this won't do anything. They have to replace the pipe. But look at that, look at that. We're going down again. You see the water's now dropping. That means whatever fell into the pipe eroded through. And to block a four foot pipe, that's gotta be a lot of dirt to block moving water like that. I just climbed over the fence. I climbed over the highway's fence. I wanna make sure there's no buckling in the roadway before I leave. Probably not too smart of me standing right above the pipe in case it's here.
nothing. This is in on and off ramp to the highway. Huh. So, let's get back down to the pond. Can't do anything today. I'm gonna get back down there. I'm not supposed to be here. Well, actually, th that's not barbed wire or anything. I know the rule is you're not supposed to walk along the highway. And I just walked up to it. And plus, even if a cop did stop to talk to me, I just called the state police better two hours ago to report this problem see this lucky for me I have this kind of fence you see how it's like crushed I can lay on it and just flip myself over because I'm not out of shape or anything but that's hard to climb over when you have steel toe boots because your feet can't fit between the holes to climb over so you see I can oh, look at this it's actually nice it's like a hammock look at this it's like a hammock. Oh, look at it. Look at that. It collapsed even more. Now look at it. It's a good thing my pants didn't get stuck on that fence. It would have ripped. Sun's finally out. You see how less and less water is able to go in there, even though there's no blockage of any kind? This is going to come to a halt. Fill on up, flood this roadway, force them to do something. They'll come out here thinking there's a clog. They'll lift this thing up. It's still not going to go down. Then they'll do it. I feel bad for the beavers because when they replace this thing, they got to drain this pond and winter time's coming up. That's really going to mess with the beavers, especially in the winter. Hopefully they stay safe in their lodge. Okay, because this thing is almost at a standstill, there's still some current, but this should all be airspace. It should be just like water falling around the edge. The thing collapsed almost completely now. And this little bit of debris that's going into it is just going to com contribute to the blockage where the cave-in is. We're going to go to the other side and see what's changed. Okay, look at that. It went down halfway. There's still a good flow coming out of here, but it shouldn't have stopped so fast. There's a pretty big collapse in there, and that's why there's not much coming out now, because it should still be, you see that scum, it should be still halfway up through that, because the other side right now is backing up. If it's backing up, there's a clog in there. Ugh. Earlier, this was underwater where I am right now. You see all the silt that was deposited up here? All that silt is from the pipe. The sun is getting low in the sky. It'll be dark here in about an hour. It's back to flowing again. I was sitting over here on this rock just watching it. Suddenly, it actually started reversing for a few, for a few seconds. It actually started coming up. Then it went back down again. So something fell on the pipe, pushing it backwards. Yeah, this thing is a goner.